Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode in my Kibitza career mode here today around Spain. Um, hopefully we can have a good race, uh, hope you all enjoyed the previous four episodes, because um, obviously I enjoy making the series, it's quite fun actually, uh, going back to an old game. But um, without further ado, let's get into the Spanish Grand Prix and let's see how we do. Starter up, Carter Track. So here we are then on the grid for the Spanish Grand Prix. For some reason I'm starting in 11th and my teammate is starting 3rd. Um, I'm seeing a bit of bias here from, uh, from the game but uh, it's lights out and away we go here for the Spanish Grand Prix. We've got off to a relatively good start. Uh, Rosberg alongside us has, well, he's kind of, you know, got the uh, the rest of the speed there. And Schumacher just comes flying past me and I don't know what to do. I'm trying to go down this little gap here. I don't know. I'm on the kerb. I mean, two cars have just gone around the outside of me. I don't know what's going on there. And now we are, I mean, did you see those two AI cars ahead then? Both went off track. Anyway. Uh, going down the inside of Algoshwari there then, and uh, Hogelberg and Schumacher are going at it like, um, well, like their vibes depend on it. And now Buemi is overtaking us, and now we're going to go down the inside of Buemi, locking up slightly on the uh, left-hand side, and we've gotten Buemi down the inside of that hairpin. And uh, that was us up now into 14th place. Uh, as you can see there, my teammate is still in 4th, um, as we have a car around. I think that was Hulkenberg. Did it say Hulkenberg in the top left then? Um, I couldn't quite tell. But uh, unfortunately, not a lot happened after that, if I'm honest. Um, I just didn't really have the pace in this race. I don't know why. Um, but uh, coming into the pit lane now, uh, we are coming in for our one and only pit stop of the Grand Prix, going onto the prime tyres. And uh, hopefully, we can um, jump a few people maybe in the pit stops uh, or do an overcut on them. I don't know. Um, I don't know if the overcut was actually a thing in this game. Um, whether they actually implemented it as an actual scenario in the game. But uh, coming out the pit lane then, we're now in 18th place. 19th, great. It just gets worse and worse, doesn't it? 19th place. I mean, this, I mean, can this get any worse? I mean, so we're now in 17th. Um, we are going to jump up a place, I think. No, we're not. We're just going to come across the line and we are... 21 seconds behind Kobayashi. I mean, this sums up this race, I mean, pretty much in a nutshell. We've gone wide through that corner, we've gone into the gravel, and now Bruno Senna is going to go around the outside of us in a HRT. I mean, I don't know what's happened to the pace in this race, but it's just gone. And now we're going to go around the outside of Bruno Senna into the braking zone, into this hairpin, and we got him, I think. No, he's still there, he's still side by side with us. And we've cut him off there into that little kink, and we're now up into 17th place. Moving on to the end of lap 10, then going on to lap 11, uh, we are now going to jump Kobayashi, I think it is, who's for some reason coming in front of the pit stop. My teammate is 10th for some reason. Um, I don't know why he's 10th all of a sudden. But um, cutting on to the last lap of the Grand Prix, then uh, we are coming around the hairpin, and we're still in 16th place. We still have a huge queue behind us as Mark Webber comes across the line to finish the Grand Prix. Um, that's his first victory in a while, I think, since the first Grand Prix, or the second one, I can't quite remember. But um, that's his first victory in a few races, and um, hopefully, uh, you know, he can keep up his form and uh, catch up to his teammate in the driver's standing. But uh, as we now come around the final uh, sector of the Grand Prix, um, we li I'm, I can only apologise for the short race, really. Um, I had no pace. Um, I had enough pace so that the back markers wouldn't have taken me, and uh, yeah, that was it really. Um, coming around the final corner then to finish in 16th place, I am really disappointed with that result. I don't know where the pace went, but hey ho. Good race, well done. I'll see you back at the garage. So, according to Jeff. Finishing 46 seconds behind the race leader when you have 
uh, pretty much you know been a, in the top ten the entire season, is a good race. Um, a, for some reason, Jensen Button finished down in 14th. That was a bit random. But um, the winner then is Mark Webber, four seconds ahead of uh, Hamilton, uh, who finished ahead of Vettel. Massa finishing up in fourth, so it's a good race from him. Liuzzi even better for the Force India, finishing in fifth. Schumacher in sixth, Alonso in seventh, Rosberg in eighth. And um, if I eventually scroll down, there we go. Uh, my teammate finished ninth, Barrichello finished eleventh. And um, all the usual suspects, apart from maybe me and Button, uh, finished outside the top 10, which was uh, fairly weird. Um, I mean, I don't know why Button finished so far down the, down the grid. But, um, you know, all the usual suspects then down the bottom. Uh, I, I, I mean, would you really say Tar Rosso down there as usual? But uh, moving on to the driver standings then. Uh, Vettel has had his gap closed at the top of the uh, leaderboard to two points from his teammate. Um, I'm somehow still in fourth, uh, but I'm a long way behind Hamilton now. And uh, Button is still behind me, and Rosberg, Schumacher, and Alonso all catch up to us. Um, so, a very disappointing race there. I mean, I can only apologise for the race. Um, I really don't know why it was so bad. Maybe it's because I didn't put the setup on. Um, I mean, I thought I did. But uh, looking back in the recording, turns out I didn't. So, um, yeah, I can only apologise for that. Um, I'm sure the next Grand Prix will be more exciting than this. As you, uh, some of you may know, the next Grand Prix is Monaco. So, uh, look forward to that. And um, moving on to the Constructors then. Um, Red Bull have increased their gap, I think. To um, McLaren and Renault have dropped below Ferrari all of a sudden. But if you did enjoy this episode, please leave an like, a comment, and subscribe for more. And I will see you next time for the Monaco Grand Prix. Goodbye. <laughs>